What's up everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. An exciting video. Let's talk about it. The Milwaukee Bucks versus Atlanta Hawks. Game six in Atlanta. Let's go, Bucks! I'm charged. Let's go, Bucks. I'm sorry. I might be a little scattered uh, in this video. I'm just really excited with what happened last night. Let's get into it. First things first, comment, like, subscribe, share my videos, show your boys some love. Let's go. You guys know how we do. Uh, plus, minus, first. So let's get into it. As we can see, the Bucks are going to the NBA Finals. Yeah. Bucks win game six, uh, 118, 107. Uh, this was a game of a lot of back and forth. Uh, we, we had, we should have won this game a lot easier than, we, we've had a lot of turnovers in this game. We made this game a lot harder than it needed to be, but, uh, let's just get into it here real quick. I'm charged. So, you know, first things first, plus minus. Uh, P.J. Tucker at a zero. That's not good. That's not bad. Zero. Middleton had a uh, plus three. But the problem with Middleton today, seven turnovers. And they were terrible turnovers. He did have an amazing third quarter, that, which got us up to that 20-point lead, which was enough cushion to get us uh, to the finish line. So Middleton didn't play that well in the first half. But that third quarter, he was electrifying. He was torching people. He was torching Kevin Herter to the point that they had to bring in Cam Reddish, who played fairly good defense, but he was still getting cooked. It's just that uh, that uh, Middleton had to work harder. But Middleton's third quarter is the big difference in this game. Like, Middleton, oh, my God, his third quarter was amazing. Uh, Middleton had 32 points uh, plus three. And as I told you guys, if Middleton has a good game, we're going to win. You guys remember I said that. That's always key to me. How did Middleton play? Because that kind of lets you know how the game went. So Middleton had 32, but uh, had seven bad turnovers. Lopez did play strong and efficient, plus 25, 13.6 rebounds. Bobby Portis didn't play his best game, but he still, uh, he had timely rebounds and things of that nature. Just a real scrappy guy, Bobby Portis. Uh, he did have 12 points, plus 11. Drew Holiday Played very, very aggressive in this game. I do think he took way too many threes, but he did hit some timely shots. He also did have six turnovers, which is crazy. Just think about that. Just between Middleton and uh, Holiday, 13 turnovers. You can't do that in the, in, in the finals. Like, that's unacceptable. Like, that's crazy. What were y'all thinking? That's what was keeping uh, Atlanta in this game was literally because of the turnovers from Middleton, from Holiday, just gift gift wrapping points, keep keeping them in the game. So that that was that was actually awful. But that that was like the the thing that bothered me the most about this game. Uh, Jeff Teague's contribution of his eleven points were critical. Oh, Jeff Teague played well that third quarter. That was the quarter for us, as you can see. We went up uh, forty four to twenty nine. That's where the real difference was, as you can see, going up. We were only up by four points at half. It was real back and forth. That third quarter, that's why I've only been talking about that. I don't like to waste your guys' time. The third quarter was a difference in this game. Jeff Teague played uh, outstanding. Uh, Middleton played outstanding. Uh, Je Jeff Teague, just played, you know what? I'm not going to say per quarter. Jeff Teague's contr contribution to this game was huge. It just kept the momentum. It, it kept us afloat and it kept us scoring buckets. Uh, Jeff Teague played really well. Connaughton being Connaughton. 13 points, uh, eight rebounds. We killed them on the glass. That is what we did really well. We really battled on the offensive uh, on the offensive glass. We had some huge offensive rebounds that led the points. The Bucks did play well. Like I said, turnovers are what caused the issues for the Bucks, in my opinion, in this game. Uh, I know a lot of people were concerned because uh, the return of Trey Young which is understandable, but he had a bum ankle. He's not going to be 100%. And as we can see, there's no reason to uh, dwell on these losers. They they lost, 
because we're going to the finals. <laughs> but let's go. All minus. All minus throughout there. John Collins minus one. He only had 13. Capella 14 minus five. Trey Young minus five. 14 points. 0 oh, 6 from 3 4 17. So he wasn't really a factor. Bogdanovich played well. He should have been a buck. Uh, he had 20 points played well, still minus four. Kevin Herter, who was getting cooked, well done by uh, Chris Middleton, had five points. Da- D- Danilo Gallinari played well this series. I'm not going to even hold you. Like he, he, he just, he's just, he's a good utility guy to come off the bench and really get you buckets and get his own shot and get get himself going. So I, I like uh, the Hawks team. They got a nice little young squad and. Uh, the, the, the what we gotta talk about Cam Reddish hit six or seven threes like that's crazy that's really what kept them from really getting like cooked cooked like we could have probably blown them out by 30 40 points Cam Reddish played out of his mind he played 29 minutes had 21 points had uh hit six or seven threes I mean he's the only person that's positive on the team plus four let that let that sink in so the Bucks win this game. Uh, I I felt like they should have won. They should win have won this game, and I felt like they sh- they were going to win the series, as I stated before. They just made things harder due to not being disciplined on defense and taking bad threes and things of that nature that allows teams to stay in the game. But if the Bucks play their game, they should they, this this sh- series shouldn't even win six games, in my opinion. But we won, and that's all that matters. Uh, we shot decent from the field, forty six percent. We hit 17 threes. The threes started dropping in the second half. They weren't really dropping in the first half. So uh, almost 40%, not bad. We only missed two free throws the whole game. Key, 19 to 21. Now, if we look uh, down at them, uh, 40% held in about 41% shooting. They did hit 12 threes, 37%. They only missed four free throws. So the difference in the game really was the third quarter where the Bucs uh, just really extended that lead, and they just never relinquished it. So, uh, And they were able to hold on in the fourth quarter. I'm really impressed with the Bucs. As Bucks fans, we should really be proud of this team, everything they went through, especially with Giannis not even playing in this game, and we still won, and we beat a game Atlanta team to go to the finals. I think now we're ready. Also, I would like to say is when Giannis comes back, if he's watching from the sideline, he should try to fit into the flow of the, of the game and not kind of like control it. I feel like when Drew Holiday is running point and allowed to be a point guard, I feel like that's a lot better for the team. Let him get you your shot and your spots. I feel like that's what it should go. And depending how things go with Aiden and Lopez, we might want to consider putting Portis in at center, uh, uh, maybe more of a small ball, more agile lineup against the Phoenix Suns. We'll see what happens. I, we all know Bud's an idiot, but hopefully he can – he can uh, figure out a way to not hinder us too much to allow us to win uh, this championship, which we will win. It just don't make it harder than it needs to be. That's my whole point. Sometimes the way the Bucks play, they make things harder than it needs to be. We'll win a championship with just six games or four games. We can. I feel like we can sweep this team. I don't care what nobody say. So, but the, you know the Bucks play stupid sometimes. So it's either four games we win the championship or six games. So let's let's talk about it in the comment section. I'm really happy. Oh my bucks. Oh, oh I forgot to do it. One more time. But this is a great, great uh, win for the Bucks. Uh great win for the beer uh for the fear the fear the deer district. Uh this is a great win for Milwaukee and, and for the Bucks organization. Uh, we haven't been to the finals in who knows how long, since like 74. So this is a big deal. And it was 25,000 people downtown at Fiserv Forum yesterday. So that's great support from us. And we're going to need that to get this team to this championship so we can celebrate in a few in a few weeks back at the Deer District, hanging up a banner. Let's get it. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me. Follow my journey as we discuss these Bucks win leading to an NBA Finals championship. Fear to deer. We here now. Gone.